I want to talk at y'all for a little bit. One of the key aspects of my entire lifestyle is health, nutrition, fitness, and overall holistic well-being. This is a whole other aspect of my lifestyle that I haven't really shared on my channel at all. And I want to incorporate that more into my channel as well. So I want to share some of those key aspects. I want to get more into that as my channel goes along. I want to get more into health, nutrition, and fitness as well. I'm going to start sharing some more um, some more nutrition and health lectures as well by really qualified professionals. That way you can really understand the depth of the knowledge and the information and you know that it has some really heavy weight to it and there's and that it's solid factual scientific research. So what I want to talk to you guys about today is hydropathy or also known as hydrotherapy and particularly the importance of incorporating alternating between extreme hot and cold temperatures in your daily shower. And a lot of this information, the key aspect of it incorporates and revolves around the great lymphatic system, which is the immune system of the body. And that topic is so crucial and so critical that I'm going to make also a future, I'm also going to put out a video soon specifically regarding the health in the lymphatic system as well. But to understand the key aspects and the critical points of that in order to understand the importance of this information of utilizing hydrotherapy in your daily routine. Hydrotherapy is one of the most ancient sciences and practices known to humankind and it revolves around using water therapy in order to treat certain diseases and certain ailments. It's involved in daily maintenance and routine of the human body, which the body is the temple, so we have to keep our temple clean. And hydropathy or hydrotherapy is one of the best ways to do that day to day to keep your body operating at an optimal level. Even other species like the Japanese macaque or the Japanese snow monkey, also known as, are actively utilizing hydrotherapy for its benefits. And it goes far beyond just the pleasurable benefits of things like utilizing hot springs and cold springs as well. It goes far beyond just the the pleasurable benefits. It goes deeply into the whole physiological aspect of, of health and wellness and strength and vitality and longevity and overall higher quality of life to, to extend beyond the comfort zones of your daily limits. It's one of the most powerful things that you can use to detoxify and aid in detoxification of the body to eliminate heavy metals parasites, pathogens, things that are clogging and have been sequestered in the lymphatic system. Hydrotherapy actively treats the overall functions of basically just about every health condition, things like acne, skin conditions, arthritis, flu-like symptoms, depression, headaches, stomach problems, bowel problems, digestion issues, weight issues, endocrine issues, joint and muscle problems, as well as the nervous system, strength and stress response. It's used for loosening and relaxing tense and sore muscles. It, it increases metabolic rate and digestion activity, hydrating the cells, nourishment of the cells, delivering nutrition into the cells and eliminating waste out of the cells. It improves and strengthens the internal organs and stimulates blood flow and circulation as well as circulation of the lymphatic system, more importantly. The main healing properties of hydrotherapy Therapy are based on the principles of vasodilation and vasoconstriction, or in other words, the expansion and the contraction of the blood vessels as well as the lymphatic capillaries. The changes cause blood flow associated with metabolic functioning and they assist in thermoregulation or the core regulation of the basal core temperatures of the body, which is regulated by the thyroid and the adrenal glands, the core body temperatures, which affects metabolism and your nervous system, your overall fight or flight or rest and digest response mechanism of the autonomic nervous system, which is divided into two polarities. You have the parasympathetic nervous system and the, and the sympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system is regulated by the adrenal glands and it's involved in fight or flight response, the stress mechanism, the active principle of charging up your muscles in order to do high intensity activity to either fight or run. So that's regulated by the stress response mechanism. It makes use of the body's reaction to hot and cold water and the sensation of the water itself. The nerves carry the signals that are felt by the skin deeper into the body and deeper into the nervous system and into the brain, where it then is vital in stimulating the immune system, influencing physiological mechanisms such as stress hormones, improving the circulation and digestion, encouraging blood flow and lessening the body's sensitivity to pain. All of nature pulses between two polarities, which seek rest at the equilibrium in the center point, in the zero point, between those polarities, those extremes. And the controlled fluctuation between these extreme temperatures of hot and cold helps extend our capacity to sink even deeper 
into the state of balance and the equilibrium in the center, which enables our nervous system to sink deeper into a state of calm and relaxation and strength in order to handle the extremes in our daily life, the extremes of stresses in our daily life between the fight or flight response and the rest and digest response. So it's going to help balance your entire endocrine system and your entire nervous system and your muscular system. It literally affects just about every system of the human body. And strengthening the nerves of the physical body has a direct relation and how the body directly affects the mental and emotional levels as well. And this enables us to harness greater strength and endurance and stamina, to step beyond our comforts and our boundaries, to go to, to better handle these extremes in day-to-day -day life, to better handle the stresses of going beyond our comfort zones and pushing our boundaries to the very limits. And this is why the hot and cold therapy is so powerful and utilized by so many professional athletes. The extreme cold temperatures, think of the, the polar bear club. You're pushing yourself beyond your physical limit. <laughs> 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 and you're doing this actively and willfully this strengthens your mind and it strengthens your body it strengthens your willpower to go beyond the limits of your comfort and doing this day to day in your first thing in your daily routine and maybe also as well the last thing do it both before and after a workout for him dramatic results. So training our bodies to thermoregulate under these extreme conditions involves a hard reset of the autonomic nervous system. Generally speaking, heat is used to calm, relax, quiet, and soothe the body and the muscles and the nervous system, while cold is used to stimulate, invigorate, increase internal activity and metabolic functions in the body. And it helps burn fat and it helps balance the endocrine system and the overall basal temperatures regulated by the thyroid and the adrenal glands. The overall body basal temperatures are dependent on the amount of, parathi of thyroid and parathyroid hormone in the body. People who are experiencing hypothyroidism, or in other words, underactive thyroid production, are feeling cold all the time, while others are not, and usually leading to weight gain and overweight and not being able to lose weight. And hyperthyroidism, which is the state of overactive thyroid production, people feel hot all the time and their metabolism also reflects this as well while with hyperthyroidism leading to weight loss and inability to gain weight and being too skinny and too thin so that all these systems are regulated by the nervous system and the endocrine system as well and these response mechanisms involve both the polarities of the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system the masculine and the feminine aspects of the human nervous system the sympathetic nervous system and regulated by the adrenal glands on the kidneys is the active or the or in other words the masculine principle while the parasympathetic system controls the passive nervous system or in other words the feminine the rest and digest principle which involves reg regeneration recovery relaxation and repair of the internal organs and the cells and the overall mechanisms of the body when the body is in a repair state and rebuilding itself so both of these responses are essential for daily life and a healthy lifestyle and functioning in our day-to-day -day lives but they need to be balanced in perfect equilibrium. They need to be utilized in a perfect equilibrium so that we're not constantly overstressed and leading to a cortisol response and leading to overweight. And so that way we're also not too passive and we're not lethargic and slow and we're able to have energy, vitality, strength, and our willpower to direct our force, to forcefully direct our energy in our lives. And this is the importance of alternating temperatures during in your day-to-day -day practice through the use of hydrotherapy fluctuating between the extreme temperatures of hot and cold in your daily showers so how the body has a direct response and relation and affects the mind as well the vagus nerve is what inner is what innervates the critical vital organs of the body such as the heart the lungs and the digestive tract and this makes clear the importance of this nerve in controlling heart rate digesting food regulating breathing and regulating our overall 
rest and digest response. The vagus nerve involves the parasympathetic nervous system and it supports the cardiovascular system. So when the mind is strongly affected, it directly affects the vagus nerve, which affects in which affects the parasympathetic response of rest and digest, or in other words, the relaxation and repair and regeneration. So when our stress response is triggered through the adrenal response, this shuts down our body's ability to repair itself. The body focuses on escaping danger, on to escape imminent threats. So it's not focused on repairing itself at that time. So this is why the balance between our stress response and our in our rest response is so crucial. So I'll be covering this in a separate video as well, so I don't want to go too in depth and take too much time on this as well, but the importance of the lymphatic system or the immune system in the body is that the lymph system doesn't have a pump to circulate it throughout the body like the heart does or the cardiovascular system is able to pump throughout the body. The lymphatic system is regulated by, by pressure regulations, by pressure variations between hot and cold response, and it's only circulated through movement, heavy breathing, breath work, exercise, massage, dry skin brushing, stretching, fluctuations between the hot and cold temperatures, and frequent sweating in order to keep the lymphatic system moving, to keep it flushing, keep it flowing, flushing toxins and acidic waste metabolites from the cell's day-to-day -day energy activity to flush those acidic waste metabolites and pathogens out of the body, things like viruses, bacteria, and waste products, as well as toxins to flush those out of the body. So when the lymph system begins to stagnate, it thickens and becomes like a plaque. It be begins to harden and the lymph nodes begin to harden and they begin to swell. And this will create things like fibroids as well. And this is the underlying cause of basically pretty much all major chronic health conditions and diseases is when the lymphatic system begins to stagnate and it's no longer adequately handling the body's acidic metabolic waste loads. And it has to be flowing and it has to be kept clean in order to maintain the body's health state. Otherwise, you will fall into every kind of disease and chronic condition under the sun. So now let's actually get into the tips and the tricks of how to utilize hydrothermal therapy in your day-to-day -day routine, in your daily showers. So what you want to do is you either want to start off with cold or start off with hot, whatever your preference. But the key is you want to push yourself beyond your comfort zone. You want to ease into this gradually over time as, as you become more and more accustomed to it. It's going to start really moving and circulating your lymphatic system. And depending on how stagnated you are, it's going to flush up and stir up a lot of toxins and a lot of metabolic waste products and a lot of pathogens and viruses that could be lying dormant in your lymphatic system. And you obviously don't want to utilize water that's too hot. You don't want it to be scalding hot but you want to push these temperatures to the limits of your comfort zones. You want that water to be nice and hot and you want it you want to utilize the hot until it starts to build a really strong internal temperature in your body. So you don't want to do either the hot or the cold for too long. You want to do it for just long enough to where your body really starts to feel it penetrating deep down into the internal organs and you want to feel that therapeutic pulse. And so once you do that for maybe about five minutes with the hot, then you want to switch it to the extreme opposite. You want to switch it to as cold as your shower will go. Preferably, you want it to be ice cold. And, you, and what I like to do is I like to let the water reach its full temperature before I immerse myself in it. That way it really shocks the body and it gets that circulation flowing and it really produces a therapeutic pulse effect. One of the tips is I never use any chemical products. I never use any unnatural products. The only thing that I use to wash my hair and to wash my body and for toiletry products, the only thing that I use are purely essential oils and organic herbal and organic herbal formulas. I won't use anything else. The only thing that I use to wash my body for body wash is I use Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap. Nothing but essential oils, organic essential oils in it. And what I use to wash my hair is pure herbal, pure organic herbal oil. And using that Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap is one of the most powerful lymphatic movers that you can do. The specific herbs, especially herbs with very powerful terpenes such as your cedar, your pine oils, things that have very powerful terpenes in them are, one, are some of the most powerful lymphatic herbs that you can utilize, both taken internally and as well as applied topically and absorbed through the skin to really, and this is really going to break up that subcutaneous lymphatic stagnation that you've got going on underneath the skin. This is a huge problem is subcutaneous lymphatic stagnation under the skin. And this prevents this as well as hypothyroidism or underactive thyroid 
is what causes so many people. This I see this a lot when I go to the sauna. Some people will sit in the sauna for over an hour at a time and they haven't even broken a sweat and they are not even capable of sweating. They have lost their ability, they can't even sweat. And that is one of the worst things for your health. That is not a good sign. You, your body should be able to sweat readily and sweat adequately. And this is what the hot and cold therapy is so powerful for resetting. Again, you're resetting the entire autonomic nervous system and the lymphatic system. You're getting everything flowing. You're, you're starting to break up the things underneath the skin. So this peppermint soap is one of the most powerful things that you can use for it. What you want to do is you want to target the key areas of the lymphatic nodes. You want to target the lymphatic nodes underneath the jawline. The most concentrated areas of the lymph, lymph nodes are underneath the jawline up and around the throat and the thyroid area, the thymus area, as well as especially underneath the armpit and the chest area. Underneath the armpits are one of the key lymphatic drainage areas, especially for women. This is one of the huge factors that causes so many breast issues, fibrocystic breasts, fibroids, breast cancer, swollen lymph nodes, hardened lymph nodes, all of these things are caused by lymphatic stagnation. So you want to really, you want to massage these areas gently. And that peppermint soap is so powerful, it's going to penetrate and open up the pores in your skin and you'll feel it penetrating deep into the lymphatic system. You'll feel it really starting to open up and let your skin, it feels like your entire body is breathing through your skin. It's the most incredibly invigorating feeling that I've ever experienced. It's the most enlivening and invigorating, rejuvenating experience that you'll ever feel. Especially that peppermint utilized with the ice cold shower, gonna help you push and charge through your day beyond your ordinary comfort zones, beyond your boundaries and your limits. It's gonna wanna massage the area underneath your armpits, massage the area underneath your breast and your chest. You're gonna wanna gently massage, or you can even do a padding. I, I even like to do a padding of the lymphatic nodes and pat those endocrine areas and really get the circulation flowing. And you especially want to target the groin area. The most lymphatic nodes in the body are, are concentrated in the groin area, underneath the armpits, the chest, up underneath the thyroid and the throat, the thymus area, and especially underneath the chin and the jawline, and under behind the ears. Some of the most powerful lymphatic points that you can achieve drainage. It's going to enable toxins and the acidic waste metabolites to begin and the lymph to begin to flush and drain out of your brain, out of your head area. It's gonna flush congestion up out of your head area. The hot and the cold therapy is one of the most powerful congestion reliefs that you could possibly do. One of the best things to do for chronic sinus congestion or mucus congestion, especially of the sinus and the head areas. And one of them, and another powerful tool to do this with as well, combine oil pulling while you're doing this in the shower. Swish some organic cold pressed coconut oil around in your mouth for about five to 20 minutes while you're in the shower doing this hot and cold flush. And I guarantee you, you're gonna start coughing out mute. You're gonna start expectorating mucus from the lungs. Your mucus will start clearing out of your head. It's gonna start draining out of your head and your sinus area. It's gonna get all of this lymphatic stagnation, the mucus out of your head, out of your body. The mucus response mechanism is an inflammatory response mechanism to deal adequately sequester and deal with foreign proteins in the body. So you're expectorating out these foreign proteins, these inflammatory proteins from the body. You're detoxifying these proteins, detoxifying these foreign bodies out of your system. So you want to use something like a gently exfoliating lupa, like I use an organic hemp lupa. Use the peppermint soap or the cedar oil or what any of these lymphatic oils, some of these cooling herbs. You want to use the cooling herbs that are really going to penetrate the skin down into the deep subcutaneous tissue and into the lymphatic system and into the tissues of the body. I like to incorporate a light stretch while I'm doing this as well. I like to stretch I like to stretch the sides, the areas of the lymphatic where the lymph nodes drain down into the kidneys. You want to pat and gently massage the kidney areas as well. Get all these toxins, get all the lymph flushing and flowing. It flushes out through the kidneys and out of the body through the urine. So you really want to stimulate the kidneys. You want to I like to pat and stimulate the kidneys. You want to stimulate the lymphatic system underneath the armpit areas and underneath the chest and the breast area. You want to gently massage that area. You want to gently massage the groin area. You want to get this lymphatic system flowing. And so you want to fluctuate between the hot and the cold several times throughout the course of a single shower. You want to do it about maybe five to seven times fluctuating between the hot and the cold. And it doesn't, you don't have to do this for too long, but you want to do it long enough to, to really get the circulation flowing in the body. So the first response that's going to be triggered when you immerse yourself in the ice cold water 
is it's gonna take your breath away. And you wanna go with this. You don't wanna withhold your breathing. The key is you wanna relax into it. You wanna let that cold water sink and penetrate deep into your core. You wanna let it flow, get that circulation flowing deep into the internal tissues and the internal organs, into the interstitial fluid deep within the organs and within the cells of the body. So you wanna relax into that. You wanna breathe deep into it. You wanna breathe therapeutically with that as well. So initially let it take your breath away, but then you wanna relax that breath and you wanna relax into it and really let that cold penetrate into you until it begins to start to feel somewhat comfortable. It starts to feel, you see it starts to actually feel a little bit warm. You start to feel a warm response from that ice cold water. This is a powerful parasympathetic physiological response mechanism that deep, deep sea divers utilize when they're diving deep hundreds of feet down into the ocean where the water is cold and highly pressurized. They slow their metabolic rate down, they slow their heart rate down, they slow their body temperature down. So whether you run too hot or you run too cold or you sweat too much or you don't sweat enough based on the function of your endocrine system, this is going to help you strengthen and it's going to help you balance out that response mechanism between the endocrine system and between the autonomic nervous system. So this is one of the most powerful things that you can utilize on top of utilizing a healthy diet and healthy lifestyle, which I'll continue to go into in further videos. So I think I've covered just about everything that I wanted to cover in this video, and but there's so much more. I probably left a lot out, but that's pretty much everything that I can think of off the top of my head. So I want to thank you guys for taking the time. I know this was a longer video than I wanted to make. Most videos out there are about two minutes long regarding cold showers, but nobody talks about the lymphatic system when the, in regards to hot and cold showers. So that's the most important thing that I wanted to cover. And thank you guys for taking the time to watch the video. Um, feel free to make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell notification so that way you don't miss updates for my channel. Even though, because YouTube is highly censoring my subscribers from seeing my content, especially Facebook as well, has been highly censoring my audience from receiving my my content even though I've got a significant amount of subscribers literally a, less than one percent of that has been receiving updates on my videos on my post my name is Cullen Smith this is lifting the veil you can find all of my full books presentations videos films articles posts at subscribestar.com slash lifting the veil patreon has suspended this work and my account and income stream for this content so if you are a supporting patron then please I ask you to move your support over to subscribestar.com slash lifting the veil and I have just established a completely free uncensored totally free speech social media platform that replaces Facebook Twitter YouTube every other platform all in one on liftingtheveil.locals.com you can download the locals app and you can join our group and have totally free speech and totally uncensored unrestricted content access and um, there are, is also a ton of exclusive content and I will leave the cited reference links in the description down below. So you can check that out for all of my full content and I will see you guys in the next video. I rely solely on word of mouth and the recommended algorithms are not recommending any of my videos or films anymore. My channel has literally been completely restricted. So I rely on your help by sharing my work around if you appreciate it and uh, leave me your comments. I definitely want to know what you have to share and what you have to think about all of this stuff. And I will see you in the next video.